Michelle Friedland, 5 Fast Facts You Need to Know. 1. She was appointed by Barack Obama. Michelle Friedland was nominated to serve on the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals by President Barack Obama in August 2013. The seat became vacant when Raymond Fisher took senior status. Senate Republicans first blocked a floor vote on Friedland's appointment, but she finally received one in April 2014 after Democrats eliminated the filibuster for judicial appointments other than the Supreme Court. The Senate confirmed Friedland in a 51-40 vote in April 2014. The vote was mainly across party lines, although Republican Senator Susan Collins broke with her party and voted to confirm her. During her confirmation hearing, Friedland said that as a federal judge, it would not be her role to question policy decisions. 2. She graduated second in her class from Stanford Law School. Friedland graduated from Stanford University in 1995 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Ecology and Population Biology. She then studied attended Oxford University and studied ethics and political philosophy and finally in 2000 received her Juris Doctorate from Stanford Law School. She graduated with honors and second in her class. According to a White House press release, after graduating from Stanford, Friedland clerked for Judge David Tattle on the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit, and she went on to clerk for Justice Sandra Day O'Connor on the United States Supreme Court. In an article for Stanford alumni shortly after O'Connor announced her retirement, Friedland described working as Sandra Day O'Connor as one of the greatest experiences of her life. In the wake of Justice O'Connor's retirement announcement, one commentator after another noted how her judicial decisions have shaped the law of the land over the past 25 years, Friedland wrote. Yet what I found most remarkable is that while she was contributing more to the development of the law than perhaps anyone in the past century, she also lived life to the fullest. To me, that is no coincidence. Her life experience made her an effective and wise justice. Not to mention a great boss. 3. Before becoming a judge, she worked for a San Francisco law firm and represented many same-sex couples. Friedland joined the law firm of Munger, Tolls & Olson LLP in 2004. First, as an associate, and later, as a partner, she represented a number of corporate clients, but she also represented same-sex couples in some civil rights cases. For instance, she represented same-sex couples and the organization Equality California in their challenge of California's Proposition 8, the state's same-sex marriage ban. According to Alliance for Justice, when the case reached the Supreme Court, Friedland filed an amicus brief in support of same-sex couples' right to marriage on behalf of Bay Area lawyers for individual freedom. 4. She was once a member of the American Constitution Society for Law and Policy. A progressive group, Friedland was once a member of the American Constitution Society for Law and Policy, a progressive legal organization, according to Senate Judiciary Committee. It is essentially the liberal answer to the Federalist Society, a conservative legal organization. Peter Edelman, chair of the group's board of directors, was once quoted as saying that the group's goals include countering right-wing distortions of our Constitution and debunking conservative buzzwords such as originalism and strict construction that use neutral-sounding language, but all too often lead to conservative policy outcomes. 5. She married Daniel Kelly in 2000. Michelle Friedland married Daniel James Kelly on June 17, 2000, according to the New York Times. According to the New York Times, Michelle and Danielle met while they were both attending Stanford University. Kelly graduated with a degree in electrical engineering and went on to work as a design engineer. The two reside in Mountain View, California.